So this is going to be a quick little tutorial on how to install Yachty onto a real PC9821 since my part 5 of my AS2 sort of series of videos uh, shows me uh, lopping off the end of Yachty with a hex editor which ultimately causes issues since uh, you know the partition table or whatever for DOS and the actual disk size is now different so after a while of writing and deleting stuff you'll run into errors so I'm just gonna redo this sort of how I did it in uh, what my part 8 where I got the BIOS but just the tutorial part just to make it a little bit easy something to reference I reinstalled the original BIOS back into the computer to make it more like a standard PC-98, but that also means we have to deal with a 545 or so megabyte hard drive limit, so I'm going to install this onto a 512 megabyte compact flash card. So if we look at the Yachty hard drive image, you can see that it's about 542 or 555 megabytes about, which is right up next to the limit of the AS2 here with its default BIOS. I'm pretty sure that if you just image this to a 1 gigabyte disk, it would work right off the bat. But in my case, I have a 512 uh, megabyte disk. And also, if I have a newer computer or with my updated BIOS, I could use a bigger disk. So I want to change the size of that before I image it to my disk. Obviously, right now, it's just not going to fit. So what we're going to do is make our own disk image with our Neko Project 2 here. So, yeah, it's not going to boot anything because that's gone. My Neko project set up to be similar to my AS2 here, so first thing we're going to want to do is make a new disk. Just make a hard disk image. The uh, file type should just be NHD. We're going to name it, I don't know, CF card. And we got to figure out the size of it. So the thing with megabytes and mebabytes, I don't like putting my, my brain to work trying to figure out the exact size of what my compact flash is going to be. So we're going to bust out Google. We're going to say our disk is 512 megabytes. It's probably going to want like that. So I'm just going to be safe and just make it, you know, 480 megabytes. That way I know it's going to fit on the disk and it's going to work. So now we have our uh, disk drive image. We're going to install DOS because uh, we got to have it so we'll be able to boot. We can get uh, the DOS 6.2 disks off of Neo Kobe or something like that. Um, so yeah, you just install DOS. The reason I do it on here instead of on the computer is because this is much faster than uh, imaging eight disks because there's eight disks in uh, PC98 DOS. So we just mash the button through. Oh shoot, that's the wrong thing to do. Let me uh, let me open my hard drive. After you make it, you have to open your hard drive. Make sure that it's actually in the system here. But after that, you should be able to just mash through, install the hard drive here. It'll auto detect the size of the hard drive. Oh, it's uh, formatting it. It auto detected the size of the hard drive here. Just hit enter, and then hit yes. And um, I guess it's formatting again or something else. Now it's going to restart and install or start the install process. This goes by pretty quick because, you know, it's not reading from an actual floppy disk drive. We're going to let it install the, the default uh, path because that's what we're going to need for the Yachty. Alright, now it's done installing, just hit the enter button and it says it's finished. We'll just remove the disk from the drive here. Oh shoot, that's open, not eject. Hit enter and it's going to restart. And we'll have ourselves a very basic installation of MS-DOS. Alright, we want to turn this into Yachty now that we have an image that boots. That's the right size for our uh, compact flash. So there's a tool for that. Called Disk or Disk Explorer or Edit Disk. So we can just open up our. Uh, you know, let, me, let me show you that again. We'll just open it up. You know, open up our uh, disk drive that we made. Since this one has a header and it's made by an emulator, it's going to automatically detect it and it'll be easy to open. So we have to open up another instance of Edit Disk, one for a Yachty. Let me. Uh, 
find it here. And since this one does not have a header on it, we have to go to uh, manual hard drive, hit OK, hit search so it finds the, the uh, IPL. Select the partition, open it, and here we have Yachty on the right. Whoop, that's not what I want to do. So, what we want to do is move all this junk over to here. That way it's basically a clone of Yachty, but um, we're going to get rid of some stuff. One thing that I've found is that um, if you delete everything here and just move this install a DOS onto here, it won't work anymore. So I'm just going to delete all the stuff that's unnecessary, like this. Get it out of here. Go over here and copy this all over here. You don't want to overwrite these files right here, otherwise it will cause issues. Now you can just copy um, all the games and the tools and stuff over here. It's pretty quick. And there's a couple files in the DOS thing that's a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure if there's a couple tools that use some of some uh, these extra files so you can see how there's a difference in the files here. But I just move it over and uh, hit none to overriding. That way you get all the extra files. I'm not sure if that breaks any tools or not. There are a couple tools I haven't used on Yachty, but for the most part this works for me. Um, so this is basically just Yachty now. If I open it up in Neko Project 2, we get all the goodies. Alright, so next is to make it so we can um, install this onto our compact flash. Alright, so here's our compact flash card. It's an NHD file. We need to make it an make it an image file. So in order to do that, in order to do that, we have to remove the header from the uh, the disk image. So I just got this hex editor here. We can open it up in. And this time, instead of lopping it off the back and pissing everything off, we just got to remove the header. And um, that's just the fi first 512 bytes here. So you want to copy or select out everything from zero to you know hex 1ff here and delete that make it go bye bye everything after that is basically everything that a regular hard drive would have in it so we can save that and now that we have removed the header it's not really much of an NHD anymore let's rename it to an image or IMG or IMG file so there's our image and uh, now we just gotta throw it on a compact flash and we'll be good to go. Let me uh, plug in my compact flash here. It's kinda mad because it doesn't have anything on it. Get out of here. I use a Win32 disk imager here. Open up our uh, compact flash card file here. Make sure the device is the compact flash you want to use, so you're not overriding anything. And all you gotta do is hit right. It'll warn you that it can corrupt the device, obviously, if you're gonna be imaging a disk, it's capable of corrupting stuff. So you just let it do its thing. If you have a 1 gigabyte card and a BIOS limit, you should be able to just write uh, the regular Yachty to your, your disk, but I heard that there's some uh, hit or miss compatibility with uh, compact flash disks that are over 512 megabytes, so your your results might vary. All right, the write was successful. That means we can just slap it on our computer, and it should work. All right, it appears that it's working. You just gotta hit the W key at that screen and it should be happy. Of course, when you first install Yachty, you should look through the auto exec and config and stuff to make sure that everything is set up right because I think it defaults with the CD drivers on. Also, the next thing we should do is run convert98at, which is a program that makes it so you can read the hard drive uh, compact flash in your computer. And by that I mean the modern computer, so you can just drag and drop files onto your, your hard drive for your PC-98. It makes it easy for installing games. So you just run it, and basically hit enter, and hit Y here. 
And congratulations, it now has the file system for both PC-98s and regular PCs. So you can just slap this in your computer and install some games.